Hi, I'm Heather, and I'm gonna do some singing and clearing while I'm out doing my stuff. I'm on my way to pick up some special food for my client's dogs. Cause I noticed, oh no, she's not gonna have any food left after dinner on Sunday. And Monday is Memorial Day, so oh shit, she's not gonna be able to go get the food on Monday. So, oh no, what are the dogs gonna eat? Mm. I'm sure glad I know this because I really want to help my friend out and I don't want her to be stressed out and having to waste a bunch of time driving all over town or something like that or making some food or I don't know what she does when she doesn't have the special food. I don't know, but now she doesn't have to because I'm going and I'm going to get a little bit for her. Yeah, you know, it's help, helpful like that. Just take some noticing. You gotta notice. You gotta, you gotta like look and go. Oh, you know what? I'm not seeing, I'm not seeing a lot of that food in that freezer, and I keep bringing it out, and it keeps getting less and less, and I'm a little worried about how much there is. I thought about that for two days before I actually counted them. And sort of every time I'd look in the freezer, there they'd be, and I'd, I'd think, oh my God, I gotta count them. And uh, I think, oh, you know, I'm not going to do it right now because I'm doing this other thing. So I'll come back. I know I'll remember. Yeah, did that a few days. And then when I did remember, I went, oh, shit. Oh, God, okay. Hmm. I think she's going to run out. I, I think she's going to run out before they get home. I better do something about that. And I thought about that for a day. And, uh, you know, I just kept thinking, oh, thank goodness I've got some time. Uh, I'm going to still be here for a while, so I don't have to stress. There's enough food for me. And as long as I go pick it up before uh, they close on Sunday or Saturday, we're all good. We're all good. I don't mind at all. I'm doing a little, like, active service, active service for my friend. So, yeah, making life a little easier for her. Because, you know, I love her a whole lot. And I love a lot of my friends. And, you know, I would do things for them um, for sure. But, you know, something like this, oh my God, so easy. Because, like, I'm already at her house. I, I found out what she needs. I, I found the place she buys the stuff. And, you know, it's, it's not that long. So, get me out of the house. I go, I go pick it up. I get to see some new stuff. I get to talk to some sassy lady. Because I talked to her on the phone. She was real sassy. So, you know, I get to see her in person. So, hmm, yeah. So, this whole past week, I've been doing a lot of thinking. I've known for a long time that I've had a lot of thinking to do about my business and trying to dial it in and figure out what the fuck is this thing really? And how do I explain it to people who don't understand what the fuck I'm talking about? Because you know what? I went away for a while and I learned a new language. It was kind of like I went traveling for and like what? I hardly ever left Portland as a matter of fact. Why in the fuck is my map system having such a problem lately? It doesn't seem to know how to tell me where I'm going, so I guess I'm just gonna have to think about it a little bit. You know what, Navigator? Normally, you're like so fucking helpful, and I love that I got this big old screen over here. Like, gee, you know what I'm just thinking? I promise sure you, you did not even look left. You did it, not even for a second. You just walk right out there and think, oh, there's, I might, there may, or there's a car coming, you know, it's their responsibility to stop, even though I'm not at a crosswalk. And, you know, I have no idea how fast they be going, but it's their problem. They better not hit me, and I'm going to just walk across the street right now with my little sodas. And you know what? Never even going to look left. Never, never the entire time. Hey, they probably did before I would got, uh, before I noticed him, but I noticed him way the hell back, so, you know, I guess he'd look somewhere else. Alright, so, what's I been noticing? What have I been noticing? Alright, so, huh. I always seem to like to, you know, figure stuff out in the context of, of doing something. And hi, peoples, I see you. I, I see your turn. You're right. I see you. So, yeah, in the context of something that I decide I have to do. So, yeah, uh, I'm going to try and break it down, but I probably will forget. I'll get lost in the story or some shit. But anyway, I'm going to do my best. And you know what? 
I think about a lot is that um, the first draft stuff that comes out your mouth often isn't like the, 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 the like smartest way of putting it or the kindest way of putting it or whatever. It's just like whatever to fly the fuck out of your mouth, right? And so, remember back when you were a kid and shit would just fly out of your mouth you would just say shit and people would be like you can't talk like that and you'd be like why and uh they usually didn't it didn't really give you a good reason they might just say well it's not polite well well why not but it's um it's true it's it's i, I don't understand why is it not polite uh i don't know just <laughs> i hate that shit so anyhow yeah, and then they get mad at you, like, you know, the way you said it was super not nice, and I'm mad, and, you know, you, you said this, and I'm like, you know what, I'm sorry, I know that that's what you heard, but I, I really didn't mean it that way, can I try again, give me another chance, and people are like, no, you blabber, 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 I'm so mad at you, and like, I don't know how to blabber, blabber, and can I put that's not what I meant, please let me try again. First draft, first draft, it's like a mulligan, you know what, how come only the golfers get a fucking mulligan? We all deserve a mulligan, a, communica a communication mulligan. It's like multiple a day. Depending on how tired you are, you might need a lot of mulligans. But also, if you're real tired and you keep uh, tossing out some not so nice first drafts, um, then you know what? Take a break. That's a good sign. Take a break. All right, so. roundabout roundabout I don't know how many years ago so it is 2024 and this cycle started in 2014 but I'm not planning on going back to 2014 right now I'm just going back to the time when I had to leave the conventional world and I had to like descend into hell and then I needed to crawl out of hell and I went to a different country you know smack dab in the middle of Portland but you know it's still a different country and in a lot of ways we speak a different language and do different stuff and yeah, totally different customs, totally different ways of playing and being total, total foreign country. So, yeah, anyway, so I've been there. I've been there a long time, and I've been learning the language, and I've been reading the books, and I've been talking to peoples, and I've been learning from peoples, and I've been teaching peoples, and I've just been thinking and doing stuff and living my life and, you know, uh, all that. But all along, since around, uh, I don't know, I probably started doing this shit around, um, early 2017 i think that's about what I, I don't know it's probably a way to figure it out but anyhow early 2017 it might have been even oh might have been january 2017 i don't know i gotta go find that episode of hussies the hussies and we talk about ecstatic dance oh shoot that was burns that was supposed, i don't you know i don't like that roundabout it kind of stresses me out because i don't think everybody else knows how to do it right and i don't trust them so i'm um, you know what i'm just gonna go around the block it's fine it's a cute neighborhood i've never been on this street never ever i that's crazy i've never been on this street oh it's pretty it's so nice nice trees that's a cool looking church i like that i mean it's just a basic stereo but it's really cool mm -hmm. oh you know what i just recently learned about those bushes i think that's called a rosa sharon and oh my god it'll knock y'all in the face that's so fucking good Oh my god, this is a humongous circle. Well, at least it's so big that I'm not afraid somebody's gonna come flying around the circle and be like, Oh no, I didn't know I wasn't supposed to go right in the middle of your lane. I, 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 don't, I don't know how to do these things. Okay, okay. So, alright, meat for dogs, where are you at? I, I, I remember seeing you. Yeah, 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 let's go get the meat for dogs. So,